You're watching Sight Sounds Flavors here on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com. We are in downtown Lansing, Michigan. And we're going to take a little walk around. There is the water company. This is Michigan and Grand. And you can see the um, state capitol there in the distance. Decided to start out here with that beautiful mural that you saw earlier. It's about uh, 30 degrees. No, actually it's 25 degrees. And uh, decided to start over here as I've been doing more and more with my videos I'm not starting out at the Capitol or the county courthouse or the post office I'm sort of starting from a different point of course there's the uh, Radisson that also has the famous Capitol Grill I uh, lived in Lansing for about six years I went to Thomas M. Cooley Law School there's Tropo, which is a very, very nice restaurant. Now, that used to be here. And uh, they put another restaurant here that's also owned by them. But it was like, I don't know if that's still the case. Behind this used to be National City, which became PNC, or PNC bought National City. First National Bank's over here. If you're from the Lansing area, by all means, please leave a comment. If you went to Thomas M. Cooley Law School or you go there currently, also please leave a comment. Uh, this is Comerica. They've got the temperature there. I cheated with that. Um, and then behind this is City Hall. I worked for George Bernero for about eight months. I was an intern and did a lot of work there. A little bit of copyrighted music there. Hopefully we won't get dinged for that. Uh, there's the peanut shop, which has been here forever. And um, used to be a Chinese restaurant, which I think is still here. Down over there is the YMCA and Kozicek's uh, coat uh, shop. Uh, the YMCA is actually down at the corner there. I used to train there for a while. Uh, the credit union used to be, if I'm not mistaken, a social security office. And uh, Insty Prints is there, but Insty Prints used to be about two blocks down that way on the left. Washington Lofts. And they've got uh, Neva Lee's. I don't know what that is. This juice place has been here forever. It used to be a subway, I think. I, I think it got condemned or something. Um, this is the Chinese restaurant that was here forever, but apparently they're closed. So this might be due to COVID. But uh, this used to be a pretty cool place. I used to go there after my workouts. Sorry. This Bail Bonds place has always been here. Um, Jimmy John's is there. Uh, Koopy Burger. I remember it, Koopy Burger, but I don't remember it being there. A lot of these places have moved around. Some of these places are totally new. Uh, Sahara Delight, I think, has been here forever. I think. This is new. Capital Hippie. This was here the last time I came by, La Cocina Cubana, but this is not... Uh, this was not here when I came to law school, but it was here a couple years ago. Down this way, of course, is the Boji Tower, which I used to think was like Lansing's version of the Empire State Building on a lot smaller scale. Davenport University. We'll see more of the Boji Tower when we go by Cooley. Firehouse Sub. Now, Grand Traverse Pie Company was there for a while. Uh, Lansing's first Capitol building. This sign is new. I like that they put this here. There's the Boji Tower.
this is where Instant Prints used to be. I remember because I used to come in here a lot for my strength addict stuff. Uh, Cottage Inn Pizza. Interesting. So I guess they're not over there anymore. They've moved over here. Uh, so Cottage Inn Gourmet Pizza. So that's a new ad. Veg had a like that. Uh, Zoop. Soup and salad. They're amazing. That's some good soup right there. The Strand. I've always known about the Strand, but this sign is new, so I like that. Very cool. Uh, Summit Comics and Games is new. That was not there before. Lennon Owen Jewelers. Don't remember that either. Uh, Kelly's Irish Pub, I believe, used to be across the street, so they've moved that over. And I think that novel concept, yeah, it used to be a coffee shop. Decker's Coffee it used to be. That Hallmark store was open for all of, I don't know, like two months when I came to law school at the end of 2007. I actually started January 2008, but I was here for a week or two in December of 2007. And that Hallmark store was closing at that point and it never reopened. And here we are in 2022, some 12 years later, and it's still empty. That spot has never been filled. That Domino's, I don't think that was always Domino's. I love the uh, decorations. Hope the lens isn't getting snowy. So the lens might be a little snowy, but just cleaned it off a little bit. Naps. This is a historic building. There's Thomas M. Cooley back there, and we'll go over there in a second. There's the library, the law library. Yeah, and as expected, Cottage Inn was closed. This is the original Cottage Inn. So they moved down the street and they added gourmet pizza. Sultan's Express has been there forever. And that's what's been there forever. I don't know about that Sahara place, but Sultan's has been there forever. The Daily Bagel, I remember that. That's not original, but it was here for a few years. There used to be a really cool walkway here, which uh, it might still be there. I don't know. Cooley's changed so much. It's a completely different law school now that it's Western Michigan. They've, I, you know, they've pretty much killed Cooley. Foster Swift, remember that big law firm. Always been there. When I say they killed Cooley, they, it's not the same law school. Barron's Window, that's always been there. Uh, it's 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 just like any other law school now. You know what I mean? Off, oh my gosh, off the LED grow lights, that's new. Uh, Strange Matter, Coffee Wine. This used to be a subway. Strange Matter used to be a Mediterranean restaurant, I'm pretty sure. It's a coffee house now. These are the overpriced lofts that they put in towards the end of my law school experience. There's the bus station, Cata. place is sort of new down there there's a party store that they were trying to close for as long as I was in law school they were never able to close it and uh, they still can't close it because it's still there this is the law school library uh, And it's got its original look to it. Doesn't have the Western Michigan on there. It just says the Thomas M. Cooley Law School Library. So that's cool. This is the uh, library. The shoe repair has been there forever. I 
I used to jump on the computers over here for that week or two in 2007 before the uh, Hillary term started, January 2008. I just had lunch with my good friend Julius Pulley, who also went to uh, Thomas M. Cooley with me. He's a very successful attorney, does veterans affairs, and he's just an awesome guy. This park over here, I remember back in 2008, 2009, I believe it was, the Occupy movement it was all over this park. There was tents everywhere. And uh, people took over the park, so there's the, uh, well, it's called Clarence H. Rosa Public Library, but it was always the Capitol Library. I don't know if they changed the name or, you know, re honored it or something. This parking structure was always here, though those green awnings were not. There's Thomas M. Cooley. And that's the law school that I went to. Beautiful law school. And what I loved about Thomas M. Cooley, and I still do, is that it gave everybody an opportunity. You know, my LSAT sucked. I had a 143 or 144 or something like that. I had a good GPA, like a 3.0. Nothing spectacular. This is also, actually this was here the last semester I was here. Uh, and people were studying overnight and it was the coolest thing because everybody always wanted a 24-hour study center and they finally had it But uh, Cooley gave everybody an opportunity And it gave you a great law school education expensive, but great and uh, You know Western Michigan, you know, it's just like any other law school now So it's just kind of like it, you know, I don't know. I always love my law school, but you know, it's, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of bittersweet because I kind of want to go in there and check it out, but I don't know, it's not the same. And that's the thing when, you know, times change and, you know, schools change and you don't want to be one of those people that hold on to the past forever, but it just is what it is. Maybe I'll walk in there and I'll check it out, you know? Maybe I'll do that. Not with the camera, because they're not going to let me film in there, but... Uh, maybe I'll do that. I'll check it out here. Western Michigan University Cooley Law School.